It's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video and welcome to Park CL Bleu. I'm so sorry, France, that I've just completely butchered that name. Expect the spotlight to have a lot of mistakes in it. I am going to butcher your beautiful language. I'm so sorry to all French people. But this park was created by Jan BK 1608, who has become one of my biggest supporters on the channel and honestly you could not wish to meet a nicer person in your life so i am absolutely honored to be doing the spotlight for him now this is a playstation 5 park and the description reads thankfully this is in english otherwise we would be here all day but it says welcome to park ciel bleu sorry again Planet Coaster's first eco-friendly resort. Built from a domain in northern France, its owners sought the help of the Yanko Company to transform the place into a theme park that would take its guests into the various landscapes and cultures of France, whilst also preserving natural spaces around the domain. This park is accessible to English speakers, yet contains occasional French names, words or sentences in its less crucial details. This project was designed with guests' perspective in mind and can be experienced at any time. Only the main attraction, the Convergence, needs to be experienced at night from queue to exit. You should only go through open doors. Closed doors do not have interiors, but some may reveal one of the 20 hidden crows. Thanks for being curious enough to visit my first piece of my heart. I share with you. Take care. Dream big, Jan. What a beautiful description that was. Really detailed. Love it. And without further ado, let's hop straight into this park. I am so excited for this one. This is going to be a good one. Right, so here we are in the park. We've just come out of the entrance tunnel which is just behind us, just down here. And we come straight over this bridge the second we come into this park. And look at this. This is the best park ever. Look at this water feature. Oh my days, it's just so nicely done. All the rock work, all the way down it, all the use of weeds and the foliage. The upside down bamboo. Oh, I love it. It just looks absolutely amazing. We will have a look at that in more detail a bit later on. Now, as you've probably noticed, there's no background music because Jan did specifically ask if there can be no music because he's put so much sounds and ambience in the park that he wanted it to be heard. So I've turned the in-game volume up as well, so you're probably able to hear lots of birds. So I've got the entrance here, so Eco Pass here. Got the turnstiles. Love this. I love the symmetry of it as well. Alright, so what have we got over here? We've got some special thanks. So special thanks to Albrus and Warren G. Thanks for being the ones that I look up to in our community. I mean, to be honest, after the Rome Park, that does not surprise me at all. Uh, special thanks to the Iron Gamers. Oh, that's my Discord. Oh, thank you. So uh, Matt is Iron Gamers. So thanks for being the wonderful human beings that you all are. Special thanks to my mum. Oh, that's really nice. Thanks for making me appreciate the simpler things in life. I love you. Oh, mate, that is so nice. I love that. Special thanks you. Thanks for being curious enough to give this park a chance. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, hang on. Got a little backstage area here. So listen to all the sounds. Just all the ambience. Oh, is there a hidden crow in here by any chance? There's 20 hidden crows, remember? Now, we are not going to find them all. I don't even believe for a second that we will find them all. I'll be surprised if we even find half of them. But we'll give it a good old go. So we've got a cash machine there. We've got some special thanks on the other side over here as well. Got another cash machine here. Ah, here we go. So a special thanks to Moomin Little Socks. Thanks to whom I found building accessible and super fun. Yeah, Moomin Little Socks was my inspiration as well. Special thanks to Frontier. Thanks for making two games that kindle my creativity. Once as a child, now as an adult. Special thanks to my dad. Thanks to whom the first game I'd ever played was Roller Coaster Tycoon, making me a coaster fan at four years old. Oh, I love that you thanked your mum and dad. Oh, and it's B. Special thanks to Iron Matty. Thanks to whom I discovered the Planco console community. You are more than welcome, Jan BK. More than welcome. And thank you for being such an integral part of that community as well. 
Um, it, it honestly wouldn't be the same now without you in it at all. So anyway, now we've got all that soppy stuff out the way. So we have Park Ciel Bleu. I'm pretty sure that's the last time I need to say it. So there you go. I won't butcher it anymore. So we've got a block of toilets just in there. And a first aid there. I love this. Oh, it's so picturesque. So what have we got over here? The Place de Antan. I am so sorry to every French person who is watching this spotlight. I am sorry for being so uneducated and uncouth. This is so beautiful. Right, let's go right for once. We never go right, let's go right for once. Let's go have a look down here, so what have we got? The Chemin de France. I love that donut shop. Oh, look at all the seating that's out there as well. That's really tactful. Just with a little canopy over the top as well, just with some wooden beams. That's beautiful. And then the same this side as well, with the Street Fox Coffee. So the Village Forestier. I'm so dumb. Oh, this is beautiful. What a sensational building. It's a shame that the guests are kind of like walking through it. That's a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Oh, wow. All the interior's done as well, look. Oh, wow. You've got a reception desk over here as well. Wow. Now this is somewhere that I would come and stay. Hang on, so we've got 201 to 210 the playground, and then 103 to 110 that way with the gym and a boat rental. Let's go. Uh, let's go around this way, shall we? Oh my days! You built all the little chateaus as well. Oh my days! No, there's there's no way you've. I was going to say there's no way you've decorated. I'm looking for crows. That's what I'm doing. Got a little playground here as well. This is just sensational. Like it's so. Beautiful. I genuinely want to come here on holiday. Lovely little playground as well. The village spa. <gasps> There's a crow! This isn't the spa you were looking for. These are not the droids you are looking for. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Let's carry on walking around here. So we found one crow. Oh, this, there, there's no way I'm going to find even half of them, is there? Like, not even close. This, honestly, this is just so well done. I'm, not, I'm walking past them now and not looking in. And no doubt, Jan will be like, you walk past the exact one that had a crow in it. You, you just know it, don't you? You know that'll be what happens. You'll be like, you looked in all of them, and then you decide to not look in them. And then that's when there was a crow in one. I love how they've all got the ventilation on the back as well. This is beautiful work. I've said that numerous times. I don't care. Right. Let's have a quick zoom out a second. I've kind of lost where I am a second. Right. I wondered if I was back at the same place. Ah, right. So this is the village gym. Oh, my days. You've actually built a gym. Oh, my days. Is this Planet Coaster or The Sims? Wow. You've even got like the treadmills and everything. Oh my god. This is ridiculously good. What attention to detail. Right. I'm going to have to do a zoom out of here. Um, before we leave, because I don't want to miss anything. So we've got boat rental this way. Water feature. Beautiful water feature. Alright, so we've got the boat rental here. Scan QR to enter. 
just everything is so immaculately done. And this is as good a time as any to just have a quick look down here as well. We won't go down that way, because I don't want to ruin later on in the spotlight, but we will just kind of... We're just going to go on a little imaginary boat tour down here, so we can just appreciate this river that you've put in. Just all these lodges here. All the weeds. Just everything. Everything works down here. And then that is the bridge where we actually entered the park as well. So, right, I don't, honestly, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss anything in this area, but it's so detailed. Right. So that was the, that was the gym. Uh, that was the boat rental. So if we kind of like just carry on walking around this way. This must have taken some time to have done all of this. I'm just loving all the sounds of everything that's going on around. There's just so much ambience. Oh, oh my, look at this. So what is that then? Is that like a spa? Ah, it's the other side of the... Right, so that was the village. Right, okay, so if we kind of come straight through the. Right, so if we come straight through in the spa, you actually have the spa here as well, it's all been built up as well, over just this incredible water feature as well. This is immaculate work. Right up there, amongst some of the best I've seen. For just pure detailing and immersion. Right, okay, and then that is back where we were at the start. So let's just have a quick zoom out a second. Because I just want to make sure that we haven't missed anything in this area. It felt like we were walking around. It felt like that area was massive. I'm not going to lie, but when you look at it from over overhead, I'm losing the um, words at the minute. <laughs> really, really good YouTuber. Forgetting how to speak. That makes it entertaining, I guess. Yeah, just beautiful. Really nicely done. I love how you've got all of the solar panels on top of the houses as well. That kind of thinking of the eco as well. Because, of course, this entire park is eco. Yeah, just beautiful. I love that entire area. Absolutely sensational. So let's come out the other side and I think what we will do is we will walk straight over and go from the entrance to the left. What have we got here? Lost and found. Is there a crow in here? No, there is not. Just because of the length of the spotlight, unfortunately I'm not going to have time to go and look for all the crows. It'll probably be something that I do off camera is just have a go around and try and find them all because I've got a feeling the spotlight is already going to be quite long as it is anyway, just because of the amount of detail that you're putting here. So what have we got here? So the bistro. The fifth oldest bistro in France. Let's have a look in this door. I know it says like in the description that like kind of you're not supposed to go in the doors and have them, but I can't help it, it's force of habit. So the bar, bar board de reverie. I'm sorry once again. Right, what's in that? No, nothing. Just everything of a such high quality and caliber. Even like kind of just this little ride exit here. Just so subtly and tactfully done. And you've even like kind of detailed all on top as well, look. And even on even on the actual very top as well. <laughs> wow. 
There's actually something in there as well. Is that just a... Ah, it's a restaurant. Okay. Right, we'll carry on walking down here. What's that? Oh, the reuse... Oh, my God. Reuse bottles like a water pump. That... Honestly, this is crazy. I'm not even going to say... Try and say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you even got an Eco Fast Pass queue. <laughs> for the chair plane. I'm not sure I've ever seen anyone put a fast pass for a chair plane before. You may be the first. <laughs> really nicely done. And just as you were coming like kind of around here, it's like I'm off which way we're facing. So that way. It's like obviously as the chair comes around here. Yeah, it'd be really nice views as well. Yeah. Great job of that. So what have we got here? Backstage tour. Let's have a walk down here. So we've got another bridge just like we had at the entrance. We've got a wooden coaster here. Look, it comes right next to us. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting on that. So what have we got down here then? Oh, we've got some cars down here. Being filled up with electric by the looks of it. The park ciel blip to so all the maintenance and everything. All the park staff that all work here. That says backstage tour. Ready your QR. <laughs> it's a park of the future, this one, I'm telling you. Like, you've even all decorated inside here. You didn't you didn't need to do this. You didn't need to decorate all inside here, but you've still taking the time to do it you got the electric on the back again ventilation wow the yanko company is there anything inside there look at this building as well beautifully done the planning department oh oh what is this what is this so the evil plan to compete with Albus and Warren G for the number one park of 2022. <laughs> the darkest shores coming late 2022. Step one, storyline development. Step two, create a diorama. Step three, tease and start working. That is genius. Oh, I found a crow. That's crow number two. That is genius. So the sunken industrial... Uh, is that Industria? The Stackport. Base Light. Bulls of Sticks. And Inn's Mouth. So that must all be hints towards his next park then. That is genius. I absolutely love that. Brilliant. Oh, proper made me laugh as well. Is there anything upstairs? Just making sure. No little, like, Easter eggs upstairs or anything. That is genius. Absolute genius. All right, let's have a look down here. Where does this go, then? I love the look of this wooden coaster. You've got all the fencing just at the side there. Don't die fencing. You've even put a wooden beam at the bottom look as well. So you haven't just put the don't die fencing. You've also put the wooden beam there as well. All the paint tool that has been used everywhere. Oh, we've got some fields here as well, look. There's some fields on the outside of the park. What is this? Wooden Matty. I feel a disturbance in the force. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jan. Just a little nod. <laughs> it's because I'm so wooden in my uh, spotlights. That's what it is. I love this. I love all this field that you've done here. This place reminded me of Eden Springs. Wow, all on the outside of the park. Look, that's fantastic. Right, let's carry on this path. Where does this path go? It's just like all the outskirts of the park, isn't it? And then you've got another coaster here as well, look. I mean, how far are we into the spotlight? I, I don't even know, about 20 minutes or so? 
give or take. I, I don't actually know how far we went. But we haven't even got to a ride yet. So we've got the Dowie. I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. And um, water treatment. So, ah, right. So, of course, Eco. So you've got to think of all the water treatment facilities. You've got all the solar panels here. They're conducting the electric and then putting them into that and then taking them through to the rest of the park. You've got the, obviously the maintenance truck there. You've got this entire solar panel field as well, look. That goes over to the coaster there. The path carries on going, look, it's still going. This must go to the water treatment facility then. There's so much detail on this park. You've got a set of benches just around here. Oh, wow. Oh, what a sight line. About 300 places to get a thumbnail from in this park. Oh, look at that. It's just all the sounds that I'm enjoying. Just feeling so engrossed and immersed. I'm forgetting that I'm in Planet Coaster, and that's always a good thing. That's what you want. You want to be taken away from the game and forget that you're actually playing a game. So the Yanko Company, is there anything inside? I am deeply disappointed there is not a crow inside there. My disappointment is immeasurable. We've got the solar panels on top again, of course. They're just all this building as well. And of course it leads on to the water treatment facility as well. The amount of detail that you've got into, like kind of just down here. There's something that's on the outskirts of the park as well. You're really pushing for like a top 10 park of the year with this. You can see what you've been doing. This is fantastic. Right up there with the monks, some of the best I've seen. I'm still disappointed there's nothing in there. Right, okay, let's come back down here. Yeah, I love all this area. Just, you've put so much on the outside. And this park, by the way, is only 90% on a PlayStation 5. Didn't even use 100%. And when somebody said about in the Discord earlier on, it's like, oh, you've only used 90%. It's like, didn't feel like I needed to use anymore. And do you know what? You're right. You genuinely didn't. You genuinely don't need to add any more to this park. It's perfect. As it is. Now, we'll walk down here. It's a fair old walk down here. Over the bridge. And then we are back to the entrance again. So, right. Let's have a walk down here. Love all the roses. I've never seen anyone do that before. Drop the roses below the floor. You've got the blowing leaves. Never seen anyone do that before. And what an effect it gives. So the place to Alps. This park just screams beauty at you. At all turns. Everywhere you look is beautiful. So that must be the ride exit. The best Ibex picks in fans. Alright, let's have a look up this then. So, Ibex. Love the font that you've done there just with wooden beams. Let's have a look up here, shall we? So the Eco Q. Going back that way. I feel like I need to look at both queues. Let's just have a quick look at the eco queue a second. Oh my days. You put all the wooden beams, like, kind of just holding it up as well, look. Not for claustrophobic people. Oh, the sight line. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh my days. Specimen count 30,000. Usual altitude 3,000 to 5,300 meters. 
Bowling height, 4 to 9 metres. Ibex sledding is very dangerous. I, oh, oh, this is amazing. This is so good. You got all the don't die fencing just at the side there, thinking of the safety. Sled boarding. And then look at this ride. You got all the queues all numbered as well. Do not pull on the Ibex's tail. <laughs> Ibex sledding is 42% safe. I mean, for me, that's good enough. You've actually put things in the storage. Whoa, what is that? The spooky scarecrow head. I have never seen anyone put things in the storage before. Scarecrow heads, honestly. We have the control room here. Wow. Hold on to your horns. The Ibex is not really meant to pull a sled. <laughs> I, love, I love this. I love it. Right, let's have a look at the stats. I couldn't care less. Couldn't care less what these stats are. They're not green across the board. I don't care. G-forces. Yeah, really nice. So, first ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy, everybody. So there we have Ibax. What a ride that is. I love the footprint that it takes up. How it's just on the edge of the park, how you can see over through the fields. As you're on it, you can see the other rides that are going around next to it. And I'm really impressed with how compact it seems to feel. It seems very tight as well. Yeah, great ride. The only thing I would really say is the first drop here to me that seemed a little bit steep i would have just maybe just leveled that out just a little bit so it's not quite so sharp coming down as then it did require then quite a sharp incline straight away again afterwards and the moments of airtime as well did feel a little bit sharp as well i would have maybe just smoothed them out a little bit this one in particular it did feel like i mean it came up over the top quite quickly but to be honest that is just nitpicking because it was a fantastic ride the sounds that are going on around the ride as it was going i love that and you've even got this little transfer track here as well just thinking of that realism yeah great job so let's come out to the exit path i love the fact that you've got a viewing point here you just stop the second you come out of the exit of the ride you've got a viewing point there you got photos coming down here again thinking of the safety with the don't die fencing and then you just back to that ambience of the park listening to the sounds of everything that's going on around you digital pics here oh wow Love this. we've just got some seating just up here obviously not that the guests can use just more facade of what it is we've got some shops here look at the 
architecture on this as well. Now I know that's in-game blue uh, uh, like wall pieces before anyone says anything, but just the way that it's coloured and everything, it just works. Yeah, really nicely done. So petite desserts. Goes back here, staff only. Must be a staff room. Yeah, um, we've only found like two crows so far. I feel disappointed in myself that we've only found the two. Let's make sure that we haven't missed anything over here. So we've got the refillable water again. I tell you, I'm gonna have to nick that idea. You know, what have you put inside as well? There must be something inside that, because I've just seen people using it. Hang on. I saw somebody using it, so what is in here? Oh, it's a vending machine. You've put a vending machine inside it. Oh. That's like 200 IQ play right there. I'm like, why are people going up and use that? As, that is genius. Absolute genius. Right, let's carry on around here. So we've got the Ferris wheel here, just elevated ever so slightly. So you've got all the rocks and all the foliage just coming up and around. You can see all the vines are open. So we have the, oh my days. So the Vendi Globe, the Ibex, the Backstage Tour, the Beat de Gavadan. <laughs> The convergence and boat rental. <laughs> oh dear. I am so uneducated, it's ridiculous. Oh dear. Honestly, I can't get over that reusable bottle idea. That is one of the best things I've seen. Literally 200 IQ play. Oh, you disappoint me. I was like, there's got to be a crow in there, surely. No, no, there wasn't. Oh, just look at the sight line over here as well. Yeah. What's that in the queue line over there? Just out of curiosity. You've even put like a little bit of clutter just there as well. This is crazy. Crazy good. You've done the French flag just with plants. Oh, right here. So the carousel phrase. The queue lines are beautiful as well. All it is is just a bit of foliage. It's nothing, nothing excessive. Just a canopy with some lights and some foliage. That's all it is, it's nothing excessive. But it works. Right. The Rue Jules Verne. Got some swings there. Ooh, yeah. I feel like another, I'll have a look up that in a bit. I almost feel like I'll be ruining something if I look now. So the passage Gavadan. Another water there. Block of, look at that is the fanciest block of toilets ever. A little backstage just here, seating area. Go on, be a crow, be a crow, be a crow, be a crow, be a crow. Oh come on! Ah, oh. right, it's right exit. Ah, right entries. So the Betty de Gavadan. How many ways could I have possibly said that wrong? Oh, look, look at this. Oh, wow. Right, so, again, an incredible station. Really, really nice. So, second ride of the park. Let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody.
that was fantastic especially for the footprint it takes up look how small that is and the fact that you managed to get it that smooth in that tiny little area and make that work yeah great job really nice theming around it i love how it hugs the terrain so much yeah great little ride really like that and once again smashed it so let's hop out the exit I need to start cracking on because i'm a little bit concerned about the duration of the spotlight and i don't want to be having to trim stuff out at the end because i've taken so long looking around look at this wall so we've got the pillar wall piece what looks like a wooden beam and then another fence piece on top incredible the convergence bags not allowed right the convergence specifically said to do all of it at night didn't it queue and everything so let's just very quickly swap it to night time so there we go swap tonight we might as well have a look at the rest of the park at night after we've done this as well whilst we're here I recognise this. So this, for anyone that may be unfamiliar, so this was actually part of the centerpiece contest that he did. So this entire mansion was, was his submission. So the Fibacani Convergence Theory. If every major heavenly bodies in our solar system align in a Fibonacci spiral, the elemental properties of our world will merge for a few seconds. Hang on. I need to put the torch on, I'm sorry. Professor Davos and I must find a way to harness the power of the convergence. Love it. Love it. So let's just have very quickly. Um, oh, there's so much to look at in here. So I have the living room in here. So this is the Fast Pass Q. So the Valenium Refiner M Mark 1. that so let's go back so we can walk up the main queue path as well so we don't miss anything comes to something when we're having to walk up both paths just to make sure that we don't miss anything that's how detailed this park is look at this oh it all triggers as well look this is nuts this is absolutely mental. Oh. This is just insane. Absolutely insane. Fitalum seems to rejuvenate the subjects. It feels like um, Call of Duty Zombies or something. I, I can't quite get over this. Look at this station. What the hell? Convergent harvest process. Go through fire, wind, earth and water. Then refine together. This may be the best station I have ever seen on console. This is absolutely 
mantle. Right, okay, let's have a look at the stats. Not that it matters. Does anyone care? <laughs> Probably not, but... Oh, I can't even select the ride. Select the ride, mate. Right, uh, green across the board, very nice. G-forces, maybe slightly high, I don't care. So, let's go for a ride on this. I am super excited. Enjoy, everybody. Jan, you have officially entered God tier. I think we can safely put you in the same ranks as Albrus and Warren G, NH99, TJ Puffs 92, amongst some of the best. Because that, my friend, was absolutely incredible. Did anyone else pick up on all the different elements as we went through as well? So you had fire, you had wind, you had earth, you had water. Just incredible. I, I, I don't even know what it is you want me to say from that. I, I genuinely don't know what it is you want me to say. Incredible. Yeah, amazing. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now, whilst we're here, let's just have a very quick scan over the rest of the park because, as I said, I am a little bit conscious of time as well in this spotlight. Look at this. Oh, my days. Is there anything you haven't nailed in this park? Is there anything that isn't done to perfection yes i know i've still got another area to go to don't worry i won't miss it i can almost hear jan screaming at the tv now my you missed an area no i haven't don't worry i was just literally just having a look at the park at night just before i carried on just to make sure that i don't forget just if you own a playstation 5 go and download this park give it a thumbs up get it on that top 20 workshop where it deserves to be get it up there along the likes with alongside nh99 alongside albrus's Rome park because this deserves to be up there with the best of them it really does this is sensational everything about it is perfect Amazing. Right, let's get back to the station. Oh, I can have a look down here as well, though. I love how we've got, like, kind of this little emergency exit, so to speak. Just down here as well. Right, let's go and find the exit. And then we'll swap it back today and we'll carry on and go finish off. This is just amazing. So fire, wind, earth and wood. Yeah, that's exactly the full acid as well. Cool. Right, so there's the exit. And let's just very quickly swap it back today. And let's go and finish off this tour, shall we? I like this exit path. 
with this wall here. We've got the photos just here as well. Oh, digital pick here. <laughs> I still can't quite get over that ride. I'm still kind of like in a little bit of disbelief about that ride, if I'm honest. It was so good. So, so good. Oh, did you know? Before being repurposed into Manor Devos, the refinery for the coast of these buildings were home to the Dolbols family, the owners of the domain. Don't worry, they relocated to a newer home when the houses started to be transformed into show buildings. Lockers. Those? Is that suitcases? Equipment. The equipment boxes from the studios pack. Do you know what? Those are probably the best lockers I have seen done. And it's just them turned sideways. And I've seen so many different lockers done with basic shapes and then the, the TV screen mounts going through them and everything to try and like achieve a locker and then you just turn them on the side and look at that that's probably the best locker effect I've seen honestly Jan is there no end to your talent around the world in 80 days so we've got another flat ride just over here <laughs> I love the music <laughs> feels very British, not French, not gonna lie. Made me feel patriotic for a second then. Right, and then let's come over here. Up into what will be the final area of the park. I can see a cascade over there. Honestly, I'm disappointed that this is ending. Because it's just so good. Look at the yacht. You built a custom yacht here as well, look. <laughs> right. Oh, a little lighthouse. That is so cute. That architecture on that building there. Feels more like Venice. There's a crow. I found a crow. There's three. I don't know, I can't remember. I love that design that you've put on the top as well. Well, yeah, that architecture feels more like Venice than France. Beautiful, though, regardless. We've got more lockers here, look. There's the entrance for the ride, but we'll go on that in a second. We're just going to have a, come and have a walk down here. Have a look. Look at all this building style as well. It's beautiful again. Nope. <laughs> The rental for paddles. No, I'm just having, to, just double checking, just making sure. Uh, I think we need to go to the cube path now, don't we? Hang on. Ah, oh, stupid crows! Right, let's have a walk down this cube path then. Uh, right, we won't go up there. You can queue. So again, thinking of the safety once again. So the Vendy Globe takes place once every four years. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, uh, it takes sailors on a solo, non stop trip around the globe. Oh, wow. Do you know what, Matt? If you just carried on, you would have found out rather than that kind of questioning. The race was founded by Philippe Janet. In 1989. I was born then as well. That's not that long ago. Warehouse 89. Bendy Globe Experience. Bon voyage. I, think I can say that. I actually said something in French right for the first time this entire spotlight. Yay! Bon voyage. There you go. Lovely station once again. So, final ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy, everybody.
a perfect ride to end a perfect spotlight. That was absolutely brilliant. Once again, really smooth, compact. For a cascade, it wasn't too long either. I love that. I like the idea behind it. I love the story behind it. The station is fantastic. It gave me very much Moomin Little Socks vibes, kind of like down here. The whole less is more kind of thing. It looks detailed, but there's not a lot here. Like even just like kind of with the little hooks just on the side here. And then obviously all around the warehouse as well. You've got the boats just down here. Just honestly, just brilliant. Now, before I forget, Jan sent me a DM on Discord and said, don't read it until I get to the end of the spotlight. So I've got it here. Uh, let's just open it up. And it says, would you take your family to a getaway at Parc Cell Bleu? That's the last time I've had to say that, so I can't butcher it anymore. And the answer to your question is a hundred thousand percent yes. If this was a real place, I would be going and booking a holiday here tomorrow. Because it's just absolutely beautiful. So, thoughts on the park as a whole? It's absolutely bloody brilliant. <laughs> what more do I say? You console guys just continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in this game on console. For me, personally, you console guys are competing with the big boys of PC now. Because you're just getting better and better and better with what you are doing. I, people are asking me, like, kind of, are you doing the top 10 parks of the year for 2022? I'm planning on doing yes. How am I going to pick that? I've got absolutely no idea. Because you guys just keep giving me, like, masterclass after masterclass. How am I supposed to pick a top 10 when you keep giving me parks like this? You're making my job almost impossible. I loved it. With the exception of maybe a tad bit of smoothing on that wooden coaster, this park for me was perfect. It truly was. If, if I had to like kind of say, I would probably say the wooden coaster was probably my least favorite, I'm afraid, just because of a couple of the little different elements on it. Um, my favorite was by, by an absolute clear mile, Convergence. Um, I think Convergence is arguably one of the best rides I've been on in a spotlight, just because of the storytelling, the lighting, the theming. I think it was absolutely world class. Um, yeah, what a park. What a park you have given me here. You said that your next park, you want to be the number one park of the year and beat Aldris's Rome Park. I tell you what, for me, that is fighting talk because that is probably the best park I've ever spotlighted yet, but this isn't far behind. And if you think that you could do better than this park and, and be competing with a Rome Park, bring it on. I cannot wait to see what you do. Yeah, amazing. What a park, love the spotlight. From the second I started it to the second I've ended, I've enjoyed every second of this park. And the fact that I am featured in this park, in the opening bit there, the fact that you put my scarecrow over there as well, I'm just touched, I'm honored to be featured in such good parks, the Rome Park, this park, the parks that the Planco community are now doing and mentioning me in, honestly guys, it means more to me than you will ever know. It means more to me than if I had a million subscribers. It really does. The community that we now have and being a part of this Planet Coaster family and community, it means more to me than if I had tens of thousands subscribers you guys make this everything for me so thank you from the bottom of my heart and i truly mean that i really do so yeah anyway um yeah 
Let me know down below what you guys all think of this. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one as well. I need to go now because I'm getting, yeah, I'm, I, I get too emotional with crap like this. Yeah, thank you ever so much. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye, everybody.